correctly. In terms of running away, it's pretty difficult <laughs> on a stage like this. Yeah, POG is such a bully once your back ends up to the edge. 3A tech crouch. Already in. Okay! <laughs> Immediately calling out another trooper roll. I love that adaptation so quick. Very, very similar to Sophie, just doing like this slight back step into like a like a 4B or some sort of like small move. Has him up against the wall now. Yeah, this is very risky for Haber, but it doesn't matter because he guesses correctly. And I like Honestly, the use of Warrior's focus to approach, because he was at that kind yeah. of range where a counter hit AA could turn into a wall spot. So just yeah, I was just about to talk about that. I, I really feel like raw Warrior's focus is frankly an underrated tactic. I don't even consider that to be much of an online kind of idea. You can overwhelm your opponent with, like, I find that to be better than doing something like 6B into Warrior's Focus, because people have gotten used to just GIing both options, but when it's just a raw Warrior's Focus, you don't necessarily have the same timing in your head for trying to GI both of the mix-up options. Hmm. Yeah, and it's really difficult to know whether you're going to have the time to interrupt it, because you have to recognize it so early if you want to do that. Yeah. So, yeah, it's a really nice way of just disrupting their rhythm and keeping the pressure on. I do oh, have to say, I think, uh, oh, the pogo for the, for the tech jump is going <laughs> to go right into some pressure here. It hasn't really been able to get much damage with regards to Oki. As sticky as we talk about Yoshi's pressure being, it doesn't really work. <laughs> he tried to do that the last time against Brandstar, and I guess this time around it ends up working out. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't get us right on the mix. Interesting choice. It seems like Habadoop is trying to, like, even just hop back as opposed to just backdashing. Yeah, I suppose you, know, you cover the risk quite a bit if you're hit out of the air. Oh, nice whip punish from Habba. And it turns into a wall spot. Wow, he, he was able to sidestep that. How did he do yeah. that? I don't know. What's the secret? I think what <laughs> happened was that, like, the actual setup... Good punish. And... Okay, let's see. I mean, you got a lot of work to do. Again, I don't consider this Soul Charge to be particularly powerful as opposed to just chip damage or whip punishing ability. Oh, right, the that's YOLO DP, yeah. yeah. I mean, it does have a little bit of track, but the thing that I was going to talk about is, is I, I feel like the initial unblockable setup just didn't really work out because Fremard stayed on the ground, and then the second one, I guess, doesn't have the same level of... I don't know, hitboxes or something like that. Hmm. Oh, I like the option to uh, spend yeah. to see. You don't want to get lethal hit by the Yoshi. Like, full me to lethal hits. Yeah, you don't want to do that, and also, uh, something that I find a lot of how Mario players get trapped in... Oh, wow! <laughs> Why did that work? Got that B plus K lethal hit, too, I think. But now he's got a bar for when he goes into yellow life, he can go into the rage explosion, and he doesn't have, like, a, an extra bar that's particularly, like being hampered, so I appreciate cashing in, like, immediately. Mm. No, oh, come on, oh, dude. <laughs> that was a punish. That could have been a launcher punish. And the little team. Oh, okay, yeah, after, after not killing him on the punish, I don't think that you have a... Uh, I, I think it is uh, the audacity. <laughs> dude, you're ping. What, you're playing yeah. in an online tournament, dude. <laughs> what? I, I, come on. Pandemic has been going on for, like, Almost two years at this point. I think that you should be fully aware of the situation. Yeah, unfortunately, that does just kind of come with uh, signing up for this. Yeah, it's part and parcel. I've I've only signed up in a handful of online tournaments since the pandemic started. Have there been matches that I've considered to be unplayable? Yes. But I try not to complain about it just because this is what I have decided to do with my time. So, well, I, I do know find... what you want. I think we do take the approach that if you do think it's unplayable, it is worth saying something, because if everyone's saying the same thing about one player, then people, like the TOs, can consider taking action. Yeah, that is but... true, but if that is the case, then I think it's important to do it at the beginning of a game, not once a game has finished, because at that point, it's a little bit different because Freemart ended up winning that game, but let's say that he lost, and then he complains about the lag, it seems a little bit bias, you know what I mean? Whether mm -hmm. it, As opposed to, like, if he just immediately went into the game, but then messaged somebody and was like, yeah, I'm not really sure that this connection is playable, then it would be a totally different thing. 
Yeah, that's the thing. If you continue doing your matches, if both players consent to playing another game, you've kind of resigned yourself to this yeah. fate. So you can't really complain. Well, you can complain, but you can't. You could, but we won't take it seriously. <laughs> yeah. yeah, nothing's going to change. Another Raw Warriors focus. I like it. Yeah, Mark has had an impossible time trying to deal with the 22AA slash 22AB. <laughs> yep, I can relate to that. I never guess right on that. And it sucks because both options are pretty sizably punishable, so it, it really sucks to be wrong on it every time. Yeah. I mean, you say both options, but you can even do 2-2-A, cancel into Warrior Focus. Yeah, that's true. That stuff's so annoying. I hate it when they do that. Oh, nice step. Yeah. Good point. 2-2-A, Warrior's Focus, A, and then it's just like they were, they never committed to anything. Oh, it doesn't get a punish on that B. That's a pretty big deal, but then so getting a good amount of yeah, it's gonna have to soul charge to potentially just backstep away. Makes sense. Oh, we're right back in it. Yeah, gotta guess right. So I have to go for the RI. Oh wow, the late RE activation doesn't end up guessing. I think he's like have a dupe is two for two on his uh, soul charges. Ha 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 ha! Gets oh. the, the evasion. Oh, I love to see it. I don't get to see that in yeah, that interaction. Yeah, that's not one of the options we typically see all that often. It's either like DP or uh, the other parry. I actually don't know the difference between the two parries that he has in that stance. Yeah, I forget what does what. I used to know when I played uh, Elmaru for like a week. Oh, yeah, no, that's I'm, I'm, the sa I'm the same way. When the character first came out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then I realized no one plays this character. This information is useless to me. The only thing that I remember that I have translated to my game plan against Helmar is the fact that his, uh, the the horizontal, the 236A, I think it is, the Senpu, that's minus 10. That's the only thing that, because I play an I-10 character, that's really important information for me to have. Yeah, really important information for Kumar, actually. Because this is another I-10 character. I appreciate the fact that Habadooba goes for combos and ha how Maru has particular combos on whip punishes where he doesn't care whether the opponent is in the air or not. Mm. Range explosion yet again. Ooh, unbreakable grab in that situation. Ah, oh, oh, he baited it before. You should have seen it coming. <laughs> You've got two bars. You could do. Yep. Might not have time to spend both. Then. Oh, I don't. Is he gonna step? Yeah. Yeah, that wasn't. Oh, that was kind of rude to go for the C. You could have just hit him, and then we wouldn't have to go for the cinematic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I kind of appreciate it though. I don't get to see it sent off. That is enough. true. That is true. I I absolutely find it distasteful when jean Hua does that oh god that's a war crime jean yeah Hua that, that, that is very that. because it's so long we would still be in x animation if that would have been the case mm -hmm. okay so we're at one and one now still haven't really had a large stage i still feel like habadouba wants to find a stage that is much bigger than the ones we've had so far. Does he get it this time? No. <laughs> no, he doesn't. I, I thought that um, you were allowed to choose a stage on this. So I didn't know. This, so uh, this is like an online dojo? Uh, yeah, at least the last two were. I don't actually know um, how many people you required for each tier of dojo. Oh yeah, I'm not sure, but that is the case. That is correct. That a uh, in a dojo event, when you lose a game, you can choose a stage or choose a character, a, di a different character. That is, it's another 4K or 44K. <laughs> yeah, we are getting confirmation. It is indeed a dojo. Okay, so yeah. he could have chosen the stage if he wanted to. Maybe he feels okay dealing with uh, Yoshi Ring out on this stage. I don't know why he would feel comfortable with that, but hey. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's better than the forest. Only I guess. Yeah. It's always difficult to find. I mean, now that you think about it, like, how does one counter stage select Yoshimitsu? I'm not really sure that it's possible. Oh, is he dead? Yeah. No, he's not. I didn't know. I've never seen that leaflet in the air. I didn't know that was a thing. Yeah, it looks like he doesn't really care if, uh, <laughs> how Maru really doesn't care if you're in the air on any of his options. That's kind of impressive. Mm. Yeah, oh. I guess that's kind of like quite 2D-esque, like if you get an air-to-air -air conversion, yeah, I guess that's you can actually keep comboing. They, were very, they, they found it very important to be thematically appropriate with regard- Oh, it doesn't get the punish on his uh, on his lethal hit, he doesn't get like the full combo. Yeah, probably both players feeling the online environment right now. Still almost dead. 
Streamart hesitating a little bit. This goes for the full damage. Oh, eyes very cheeky. He went for partial combo on the back command grab so that he could continue to keep him back turn so he could potentially get another mix. Very smart stuff. It didn't work out, but still it was very smart stuff. Yeah, I like the idea. First time oh, we're right. seeing bare knuckle. Yeah, have a like spare knuckle when he can actually get the uh, chance to bust it out. It's honestly not a bad stance. Mm -hmm. It's a teeny tiny bit janky. Like, I don't actually think that the RI is really all that good, and its whiff recovery is, like, the biggest in the entire game. But, like, the, the although, uh, albeit a small range mix, is honestly not that bad. Yeah, I think just the fact that he has, that he has the RE is kind of enough. Like, just the threat sure. of it kind of makes you not want to disrespect the stance. I appreciate the soul charge. Potentially going to get chip damage. Is that going to be in time? No, no way. It's Yoshi C. It's never in time. <laughs> oh, this time we get an air conversion. Almost. It's, it's like the last hit always like keeps whiffing. It's really weird. Mm. Yeah, it looks strange. Oh, uh, that's that beautiful. <laughs> I love that uh, Habit, after he backstepped the first hit, he recognized, okay, I need to sidestep the second hit and then punish. That was such good whiff recognition. Yeah, it's and it's clearly what how Mario is going to be looking for virtually the entire time because outside of stuff like Med K and maybe like Six Six K, there are plenty of moves that Yoshimitsu players really like to use that are pretty stubby, and.